guys, it's Rachel. So today we have the Naked Heat palette in the Naked series that I'm doing. We are going to play with this. And here is what the palette looks like if you haven't actually seen what it looks like or you need a refresher. So that is what we're going to be working with today. I'm going to be starting off with my old tried and true NYX uh, eyeshadow base in what is the tone? Skin tone. <laughs> How original. I, was, I think I've said that a couple times. And I'm just going to take a flat top boot brush. And just a light base of this on. I have done my face make, um, my, my concealer and foundation, but I haven't done anything to my brows yet or um, no blush or contour or anything like that because I just don't know what we're going to create with this. I've created some looks with it that I've actually really enjoyed, but I just haven't used it in a long time, so I don't know what I'm going to do today. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with taking Chaser and Low Blow. I'm going to mix them together and kind of place that all over the lid for like kind of a little bit of a base and some dimension maybe. So I'm just going to mix those together. Alright, so I've kind of done it on both eyes and I'm just taking a little bit more of Chaser to lighten it up a little bit and then put most of some of that on the brow bone. I have a dry patch here on my nose. I don't know if anyone can really see. There is like, I don't know, like a dry patch on my nose and it's kind of created a sore. I really don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. So I've been trying not to wear my glasses in my, as much and mostly my contacts. So right now I'm going to take the color Ounce. It's this one right here. I think it's Ounce. Lightening up. Just creating a nice little base kind of canvas. And then we can add some dimension later. I just don't know which color I really want to start with. I mean, I could go pretty crazy and pretty in depth and right off the bat, or we can start off and build up. But I think I'm going to start off and build up, but I'm going to kind of go in the meat in the middle. So I'm going to take, um, so I'm going to take this shade in Fuego, but I'm not going to go in very, very strong with it. Just a little bit on a nice, kind of a fluffier brush. That was my phone, by the way. And just taking that and just lightly lightly blending that through and really really taking our time blending that because I think that it could go pretty far if we let it okay so that is in fuego on this on the outer corner I just wanted it a little bit of it I'm gonna do it on the other eye too I'm going to take a brush that's a little bit more dense and kind of like a dome brush. It's more dense and I can have more control over it. And I'm going to take a Fuego and I'm going to try to do like a halo eye and put that on the inner corner. But I want to have more control over it so that I know, so that I can see where it's going to end. So like that. Now, Infuego is kind of a cranberry shade, or like a ter dark terracotta, so this is what we've been using, and sometimes if you're not using this, you have to kind of have an end plan with these kinds of things, or it can look a little bit more, I guess sickly is the tone, is the thing I'm looking for. So I'm going to clean up some edges real quick with my sponge that I used my foundation on, just to kind of help blend things a little bit more so that it looks a little bit more uniform, I guess. I'm going to do some on the other eye and then we'll move on from in fuego.
Now I'm going to go in with the shade of kind of an eyeball in it called Ashes right here. And I'm going to take that and blend that through both of both the inner and the outer corner. And just slowly, slowly blend this so that I can have a nice seamless buildup of product and not it won't look too messy. Okay, so that is the shade Ashes on both sides. Kind of liking how it looks. It looks a little bit messy and crazy right now, but we'll see what it looks like later. We'll see how it comes together. We will make it work. Basically, I'm just trying new things with everybody here. I'm not trying to make things seem perfect. Just cleaning up the edges with my sponge again. It's kind of getting a little bit messy, but I'm just going slowly, almost kind of blending it its own self. And then I'm going to adjust my brush out that I was using and then just kind of go back in and blend the edges better. So that is what we have so far with this palette. Now I'm going to go in with something that's I'm going to go in with the shade Scorched, which is a pretty awesome shade, I think. And I'm just going to take that and use that as our center shade, mostly. I started on the, wrong, on the other eye that I don't normally start on, so. Oh well, we're just doing both eyes right now. I have a big fluffy brush. This is one I got off of Wish. I did a video about that a long time ago. I could do another one like that. Yeah, that one was kind of scattered. I felt like I didn't, I wasn't prepared for that video as well as I should be. So I'm just going with this brush. I've dusted it off on my towel that I have. I always keep a towel here with me and I just kind of dust my brushes off as I go. And then I'm just blending across with that. Just a little bit, not a lot. I don't want it to blend all the way, just mostly at the seam, like the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade Lumber. I think that, that doesn't look right, but I'm going to say it. So I'm going to take that and place that right on the center of everything. It's not starkly different from Scorched, but it's different enough. All right, now I'm going to take a brush, a standalone brush and clean up our brow area with the shade Ounce and just blend that through just to lighten the brow up a bit so nothing looks too blended too high okay so i went through and put something through my brows this is um the brow gal um uh, brow gel it's just a teeny tiny one and now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of liner and mascara I am using Tarte Big Ego Mascara and then this little liner that I've been using from Ico and I'll be right back. So I have my mascara on and liner but I also have a little bit of mascara mistake that I did. So what I'm going to do for my lower lash line is I'm going to take this shade Dirty Talk right here and just kind of smudge that through. I kind of like a little bit of shimmer down there. So now we've done that, I'm going to clean up underneath my um, lower lash line and I have this um, Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer from CoverGirl and I'm going to take a clean side of my sponge since I've been using it a little bit while we're doing our eyes and just kind of pat it through here. 
going to take the my benefit box, my Hula bronzer. This is not cruelty free, but I'm trying to use it up. And as you can see, there's a quite a dent in it. So I'm going to use that to do a little bit of contour. This is a Luxie brush, small contouring. I need something new. And the one I'm been looking at is this Bali brush. It's a Bali blush from Cargo. It's one of my most favorites. It's really pretty. It's just got a nice glow to it. Here's what it looks like. So pretty. <laughs> Dogs are barking again. That's what happens when you have dogs. For highlighter, I'm going to use one from my Project Pan. I need to do an update on that. It's not going very well, I'll tell you. <laughs> so this is a Revlon one. It's not cruelty free. It's in a Project Pan that I'm doing that is not very successful, I will say. I'm not going to lie about that game. But it's still a pretty highlighter. It's just too bad that they're not cruelty free, you know? Too bad, so sad for Revlon. So for my lips, I'm gonna go a little bit more nude and this is a nude stick in Purity. It's just really, really a nice kind of my lips but better shade. And I'm just kind of putting it on a little bit messily and then I'm gonna kind of blend it in and mush it together. That's what we got. All right, so that is the Naked Heat palette. This one is like not def definitely not an everyday eyeshadow palette, at least for me anyway. So it's very orange, very warm toned. And I don't know, it's probably the most warm toned out of all of them, I'm not sure. Maybe cherry could probably do it but the cherry is what's coming up next I'm very excited about that I think the cherry is one of my most like the favorite out of all like more colored kind of ones you know I guess it's kind of I don't know it's just very pink toned and this one's orange toned so whatever you like but I I like this one it's fun I very much agree I respect the concept of this palette but I don't know if it's for everybody uh, it's, I mean, you can definitely get something really cool and bold out of it, but, um, I'm going to keep it. I really do like it for, you know, those occasions that I need it. And I've done some pretty awesome stuff with this, but I wouldn't say that everybody needs this palette. <laughs> That's what I will say about it. Not, not bad, not, gr not an every, not an everyday, not an every person palette. I'm not really sure how to get the words out. Yes, not a palette for everybody, but it's definitely a great palette. So if you guys did like this video and you want to see the Naked Cherry, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.